Hey guys, welcome back to Little Boy Customs. Today, we're gonna to be working on installing some windshield wipers on the truck. Something all of you have been waiting on. So you may have noticed that the hood is now taken off the truck again. Uh, I still need to adjust all that. I took it off because it's gonna be easier for me to work on the windshield wiper area in order to try to figure this out. Now, disclaimer up front, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never installed or converted Crown Vic motor over to F100 windshield wipers or any of that. Typically, I wouldn't run windshield wipers because I would register this in Texas as an antique car and they're not required on those because it's limitations on where you can drive it at and all that. But because I'm gonna to try to make this truck a daily driver for myself, I'm gonna put windshield wipers in it. And so let's try to figure out how we're gonna install them into this truck and make it all work. So I'm gonna use the bed of the truck as my workbench. You see right over there is the Crown Vic assembly. Literally this is everything that comes out of the car whenever you take that whole component out. Back, the motor's right here, windshield wiper here. This is upside down, so it would actually be the other way. This would be the area the windshield's at. This would be where the motor's at down here. And then we have the assembly for the F100 truck. This mounts underneath the dash. This is the top side of the dash. It's the lower side of the dash, and this mounts uh, underneath the dash and goes through the firewall and comes out the other end. Now, you may notice that I ha already have this part connected I had two sets of these because remember I had two cabs one I wrecked and one I didn't wreck this one here so I took the one set and disassembled the motor from it and then I just put these up in here to kind of see where those two would fall back down at uh, to see if I had enough room clearance and all that now remember we still have a big gap right there that we'll have to weld all sheet metal in in order to close that up but first let's get the windshield wipers taken care of so that we can weld that up so while we're working back here on the back side of the truck we have the infamous lb he came into the shop today in order to help us out and i greatly appreciate him being here with us he's already tired and bored of me talking hope y'all aren't all right guys so we have the two different components here the only thing that i really think i need to use off of this one over here is that motor. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this part apart. We have a small clip that's right there. Looks like it's just gonna be used a uh, flathead screwdriver. We'll pop that off and then we'll take the three bolts out of it and that should release that motor right there, hopefully. It's gonna be a uh, 11 millimeter to get that off. Most important part, what we want, what we don't care about. So, I'm thinking this piece here is going to be too wide. Another interesting side fact is this has tons of graphite on it. Must be something that they use in order to grease everything up. So, uh, from here on out, I'll be wearing gloves in order to handle that thing. But before I get into that, Next thing I want to do is I want to take this assembly here apart. We know we need to keep these and the arms and probably take the motor off of this bracket here because I'm probably going to try and reuse that bracket as well. So let's see if we can get this off. I'm going to try and retain this. Those just slip right off, pretty simple. We're gonna keep those because they're gonna go back inside the cab. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be a 7 16 bolt. 
Yes, seven sixteenths. Gonna retain the bracket. Uh, so if you look at the two of these, you can tell that the one on the original motor, this shaft that's on here right here is a lot longer than the shaft that's on the Grand Marquis one. So with that being said, I'm gonna try and remove the shaft off of this one. Should be just removing that bolt there and it should come right off. Should. Famous last words. Take the persuader. I'm sure this motor's still good, but I have no use for it, so. All right, putting these two together, you can really tell. One, this one is a lot longer, plus looking at it in diameter stance, this one's a lot more narrow than this one. So we're not gonna be able to use that. This is aluminum, my first thought if this is center of the motor and it spins around my first thought would be is to pop this one out and try to push this one in but that would be pushing it through that big piece of aluminum and I can't weld aluminum either so my thought process now is I'm going to try and tear this motor apart I've never done that before so hopefully I can get this all apart somehow or another and maybe there's a shaft in here that controls the aluminum part. I don't know how that plastic piece comes out, so I'm going to do the right thing and just drill it out. It apparently just pops in there. But I have no idea how they'd ever get that out. I have a bolt on the inside here. Hopefully if I take this bolt off, this assembly here comes off and then we're good to go. Hopefully. Because I'm starting to get into graphite, yep, I'm gonna start wearing some gloves. Mainly because anybody that's working with graphite knows that crap gets everywhere. Gets in your clothes, gets everywhere. Gets on the dog. And then he can't go in the house for the night. I know this is probably going to be metric because it came off the Crown Vic and almost everything on the Crown Vic's metric. So, eight millimeter. Come on. There we go. Hang on to that for a second. You would think the aluminum piece would come off. Come on. Well, what has got you stuck on there? There we go. Basic piece of uh, aluminum. I'm not exactly sure how this contraption works, but looks like somehow or another it spins down here. I don't know. 
It's got a push rod in there. We don't need it. That's the important thing. Uh, looking at this, let me go get the little motor I didn't say I needed anymore. If you look at this shaft right here, you can see it's like almost a rec uh, rectangle design, but the bolt pops through it with some threads. This one here is just the opposite rectangle design, and then of course that bolt goes down inside of it. We don't need that either. I'm thinking I'm going to take this piece of brass off also. I'm, I'm not sure I really need it on there. Those are little bitty bolts. All right, after a little bit of research, because of the way these bolts are, I'm lucky enough to have some of these really, really small Craftman wrenches. This is a 732nd, so we're going to try and take these little bolts off. Not quite the right size. What a letdown. Looks like the shaft is bigger. All right guys, so I took this right here and I drilled it out to that size right there, which is a 1364. Took a 1364 drill and drilled that hole out. What that does is that allows this to slip over the top of that. So now what we'll do is we'll mount this onto here and drill some holes into this so that this can mount to this and then we'll pop this on and take the welder and just weld it onto the actual shaft and that way it can spin around as it should all right guys for this all to work out great uh proper for me what I'm doing is I'm going to leave this little uh, rubber boot here onto the motor. And this rubber boot fits right inside this hole perfectly. So with that being said, I put it on there. It's lined up. I took a punch. And drove put it through that hole there and then used it in order to make my mark. And then I uh, used a drill and then just uh, drilled that hole out. This should now attach with these two holes here. Now the bottom half down here hangs off so I'm not going to really worry about that. Those two bolts should be enough to hold this on. So let's try to put this bad boy together and we'll see how it turns out. So this will pretty much be it. I do need to weld this onto here. First thing I want to try to do is put this inside the cab and bolt it up and then put this back on and see how it looks actually connected to the windshield wipers real quick. So let's go do that before I weld this on. Quick update and modification that I needed to do this. So this doesn't fit inside underneath the dash the way it sets. This part here will fit no problem, the bracket but the motor itself does not fit. The motor is too far uh, down, hangs too far down. So what I need to do is I need to unbolt this, drill two new holes, but rotate the motor to a 90 degree to where this motor is hanging off this end here. That way it won't hang so low and hopefully we can get it mounted up that way.
Wiper motor is in place. It is screwed in right there where it was a factory. Oh, nope, right, right there. Right there, screwed in factory at the top. Now, the first time I put the motor on, the motor, if you remember, that motor was hanging straight down and it hung up on that lip right there, which is the Crown Vic. So, turned it sideways, it clears that now. So, I think it'll be a little easier to plug in as well because it plugs in right there. And so let's go to the other side and try to hook up the wiper arms to the motor. Right there is the wiper arms coming together. The arm is connected. I need to put the clip in it. And the arm is connected to the motor. The problem I'm gonna have right now is I need to trim this area right here out because as that swings around, it's gonna hit into all this right here. So I'm gonna trim this out and now that we know that we need to trim this out, we can also go ahead and mark where that uh, wiper arm motor is on. Uh, we can now mark the uh, little arm that connects to these arms here onto the motor. That way we know where to weld it onto at. So we'll trim this out, weld that on, and then put it all back in and we should have good wipers. All right, guys, so I've pulled the motor back out. I've welded the, the for me, whew, that's hot. Don't touch that, stupid. So for me, this arm right here needed to be as far out on that shaft as possible. I had two choices. I could either um, weld this to the shaft, and I thought, man, that's a great idea, except for if this motor ever goes out, then I'd have to buy one of these also in order to re-rig this whole thing up. Or, this comes with its own bolt that we took out originally, so what I did was I welded this to the bolt. Now, I'm not sure that bolt's going to stay in or not, but what I will do is I will get some Loctite and put on that bolt, and that should hold it in place as this thing spins. Or at least that's the plan. So now I'm going to reinstall this. I won't know for sure if all this works or not until we get the wiring hooked up inside the truck which will be much later on down the road so hopefully all this works all this does line up and it will spin when not hooked up to the motor by hand all the way around and clearance is great so in theory this should work let's hope so at least all right I had to come back in and cut some more but we cut the firewall of the crown vic out right there the motor is attached the uh, bracket right there is attached to the two bolts at the top. Now, you can see the gap, hopefully. We still need to weld all that together to the cab. So whenever I do that, I will also fix this area right here. Let me get you a view from the inside. There's the motor. It's attached. Everything looks good. Wipers are installed. So... Theoretically, it should work. We just have to wait until we wire up the truck and then we can try them out and see what happens. Now, if you made it this far in the video, might as well show you another update real quick. Yep, we're stripping the bed down already. We're getting it ready for paint. We're taking it down to bare metal. Looks pretty good so far. Been using one of the uh, Eastwood Contour SCT tools. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you don't have one of these and you're gonna strip down a car, get you one because this thing is well worth the money not sponsor of the channel or nothing like that but those tools right there are unbelievable took all of this out right here and all the way down it took me right at maybe an hour to take all that off and i think i was using the wrong drum at the time but still it came off pretty good and it looks really great all right guys that's going to do it for this episode here i hope you enjoyed it hope this was helpful I definitely learned a lot. I'd never done this before. So this was a great learning experience for myself. I hope you learned something and it'll help you out in your build as well. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so. It will greatly help us out. If you liked what you saw on this channel, please give us a thumbs up. That helps us with the algorithm and everything else. And well, we need all the help we can get in order to grow bigger. So if you haven't started following me over on Instagram and Facebook, there's links down below for that. And in case you want to send me fan mail or stuff or anything else, there's a 
address down there below that you can send me stuff as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, be safe.